If you're like most people, when you drive down the highways and state roads in Mississippi and cross the bridges on your route, you would likely never give much thought to what is underneath a bridge. But if you took the time to look underneath the older ones, what you would find is a patchwork of repairs to keep them safe for the traveling public. Simply put, many of our bridges have served their usefulness and need to be replaced. What you'll see in the next few minutes is a look at what lies beneath. This is a good example of what happens to the older timber bridges. You can see the decay here. You can see decay in this block in the end section here. You can see the cap. The end section of it is rotting in the same kind of way. These timber planks up here, the end section is exposed to the weather. The bridge was built in 1927, and it was built uh, at least partially with a uh, used material. You can see these stringers have been turned upside down. You can see where the old nails are still in place there. This bridge is posted as is most on this route, and we have a lot of other routes that have posted bridges as they deteriorate, but generally the truck drivers just, just keep coming. They, uh, they got to move that load, and so they don't worry about the signs too much. If they think the bridge will hold up, they just keep coming. These old wood structures have served their purpose, and they've been good for a long time, but it's time to replace them. They've, they've just outlived their usefulness. They're costing more to repair, and we're staying busy on them all the time. The public just keeps driving. They don't know what's under here. Uh, we've had some truckers mention that they had to stop for some reason other than just happened to look under the bridge and they said it was sort of scary. They didn't expect they looked that bad. Uh, they, they don't know what's under here in general. They really don't and, and most people would be surprised to know that there's any timber out there. They thought timber, well, that's going to wear the horse and buggy, but it's still around. This new bridge behind me replaced the old wood bridge that used to be here. All wood, what I mean is wood deck, wood cap, wood, wood pile. We were driving a pile on that bridge, and I moved the drag line up about one foot, and the whole span fell in with me, and that thing fell five times before it ever got to the bottom of that creek. And that was a wild ride, but I'm glad it fell in with me and didn't kill me or hurt me in facing a busload of kids. And that's what I'm talking about, the old bridges that have been here a long time. There's not, not much repair you can do to them. You can just kind of fix them to where public can come across them. But they need to be tore up and a new one put in there. And we've got several bridges like that that need that. We have 16 counties in this district, 1,300 plus bridges in this district. It's a lot of work and only we only have one maintenance crew to do this work. And you do the math. Just like fighting a war, you get through one battle, you move on to the next one. It's just like an endless domino effect. As one falls, you know, you just have to, they keep falling and keep falling and we're just trying to keep up. We got a lot of bridges with timber piles that are getting hollow. We got timber caps, we got timber stringers, we got steel beams that are rusting, cracking. Holes and webs. Yeah, we're gonna it's just a continuous maintenance problem. When they say it's 50, 60 years old, <laughs> the age has done got it, it's riding. They're all old, need replacement. It's just right. We have over 1,100 bridges in the district alone. We have a 91 posted bridges. Right here we have debris that comes down from the open joint with salt when we salt our bridges. It causes rust on our flange when water and mixes with the debris, it has nowhere to go, so it stop, stops right here. It causes this to get thin, causes the web to start rusting, and it starts getting thin with a lot of section loss, which we have a hole. Then we have something that's called pack rust, which comes off the beam, which is this right here. I mean, you can stick your hand through the hole in the, in the web right here at this cap. This bridge was built in 1937 and carried all the traffic for US 78 from Memphis to Birmingham for many years until the uh, 
the new highway, new US 78, was opened up to traffic in the early 90s and relieved some of the relieve the major load of traffic off of it. So it's had a quite a beating during that time. It, it was overloaded, overstressed, and uh, uh, repeated overloads. What they call fatigues so of some of the steel has just sagged from extra load and it was not built to the type of load that it's been carried in the last several years. One day, these bridges must be replaced, and one day is now.